Hi everyone, so I wanted to go over some tips and tricks that I have using Canvas, which is what I use for school. Um, I know that a lot of other schools also use Blackboard. So I'm using it for my MBA program and my daughter, she's starting community college and she's also used Canvas as well. And I was trying to teach her everything that I've learned using Canvas in the past two years. So I decided to make a video um, just to show you what I've learned using it and hopefully teach you a thing or two. I would also love to hear from you and there are there any tips and tricks that you know that maybe I can learn something new. So let's go ahead and get started. So when you first enter Canvas, you come to the dashboard and here you'll see your courses. You can actually have different views, like right now it's pretty tough because I only have one but you can have it be um, this view, which is more of a list view. You can have just the recent activities, or I prefer the card view because if I have more than one class, I can just quickly get to it. Other side, which is like a little sidebar, is like a to-do list. And these are usually any announcements that your professor has, or even the school, like now with COVID, they now have section for that, um, I guess. It's a course for in when you're talking about it in Canvas, and here you'll see the to-do list for that. And this helps because then I know like what's coming up and what needs to get done um, before we meet up the next time. So here I clicked on calendar, and this is a great tip as well. So the same thing applies here. Here you can go ahead and click on the course that you no longer want to see, and then it'll disappear from your calendar. The reason that you want to do that is if you are someone who prefers this calendar view, then you'll just see the active courses that you want to pay attention to. But then um, the other thing that is really, really great is if you do use another calendar. And so the great thing about this is that if you click on calendar feed, you can sit here and go to your Google Calendar, Outlook Calendar, iCloud, whatever you use. Uh, I'm just going to use Google Calendar because, as I said, that's the one that I use. I already have it um, posted, so I'm not going to um, save what the subscription to the Canvas calendar, but I'm just going to show you how to do it in case you've never done it before. So you'll have two. You'll have my calendar and other calendar. And then you can click on the plus sign. I don't know why my computer is so slow today. It's like it doesn't want to work because they know that I'm trying to show you all something. So you click on from URL and then you just post the calendar and then add it. And then when you do that, you'll see that um, here I have my MBA Cal. Like don't confuse it with the one I created for myself. This is the MBA Cal. And then you'll see that um, this is the how it looks from the canvas and then you have all the information that the professor posted so that's really nice because then you don't have to try to keep two calendars trying to get them sync and manually sync them you can just use the calendar feed so that has been a lifesaver for me and i recommend that you do that so the other thing that i recommend is download the canvas app so as you see i i have it here it looks it's basically a mini version of the web application. Um, so one of the things that Canvas has, it has its own inbox. Uh, usually all my professors use the inbox. They don't use email. I think I've only gotten like one email from a professor and it's before the class started. So you definitely want to have the Canvas app because then you'll get notified every time the professor sends a message out. The other thing that's really, really nice is that um, if you go if you use the widget area on your phone, and I apologize if Google, um, I'm assuming that they probably, I'm assuming that they have their own widgets on their phone, um, like a little dashboard for you to see. Um, but I have an iPhone, so that's why I'm showing the iPhone. But you can have a Canvas widget, and you'll, and here you'll see all your graded assignments as well as the grade for the course. And one thing I like is that you, these are the courses that I starred that will show up here. So here right now is an NA because I just started this class, but if not, there would be a grade here for every assignment that I turned in. So that is something good because then you can quickly know what your grades are without having to log in to a computer and go to the grades link to get that grade. So yeah, you definitely wanna download the app.
The other thing you want to do is click on your face, or if you don't have a face, it'll probably just be your initials, I believe. Um, so I usually add a picture. Here you can go ahead and customize your notifications. Um, but here you can go ahead and decide the notifications and how you want to receive them. The other thing that you can do here as well is see all the files. These are everything from the files that you use in discussions, like the current professor that I have, he loves having discussions, um, which are the forum area of Canvas. And so here you can see all the your conversation attachments, all your submissions, and you can do it also by each of the courses. And you can also see the ones that the professor also um, uploaded. So this is really nice um, to have as well. I don't use ePortfolio, so that is something that if anybody has any tips on that, I would love to hear it. The other thing that is really nice is that if you click on settings, you can actually add your Google Drive. I don't even know why I use Twitter. That's, I mean, why would I have Twitter? That's weird. That's something I'm going to have to relook at. But you can have like Google Drive um, here as well. So you can upload or download anything from Google Drive if you use Google Drive. Um, here you'll see all your integrations. So as you see, my Canvas, which I need to delete a couple because, you know, the latest one is the one I should have. And then you can also have other options according to the actual app. So those are some of the tips and tricks that have helped me to use Canvas and just help me be on top of my classes, know what my grades are, and just be in communication with my professor. I'm assuming that also one of the things about uh, these type of tools is that it also depends what the IT department at your school has things set. So there might be additional settings that I can't see because this is what uh, James Madison University decided makes sense, which I think for me, it's perfect. It's everything that I need. I don't need anything else. Um, the other thing that I did want to show you, and this is probably, you probably already know this if you're using Canvas, is if you do click on your class, the professor can actually organize this and have things um, hidden or not depending on what they want you to have access to. And here you can um, go to discussion. So I said this professor uses a lot of the forums. You can see your assignments, the your grades, the syllabus. Some professors actually have it as an attachment, but um, this professor, he's very savvy. So he has it as just a, his own page. We're going to have quizzes in this class. So he, you have quizzes. And one thing that James Madison now has is Zoom. So I just created my account. So, oh, you know what? I think they're actually switching from WebEx to Zoom because before, now that I think about it, it used to say WebEx and now it's a Zoom. So I guess they did uh, a switch over from WebEx to Zoom. I hope that this was really helpful and sorry that I rambled on. Uh, next week I'm going to the lake house and I'm so excited. But I hope that everybody has a wonderful weekend. A great Labor Day, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.